It's serial dilutions, it's a mold question. Let's have a look at what this one is asking. We're building on our other videos that we've done where we've looked at dilutions. Let's have a little read. It says, a student wanted to produce a dilution series of glucose solution so she could plot a calibration curve. She had a stock solution of glucose of concentration 0.8 moles per decimeter and distilled water. She made a series of dilutions from 0.1 all the way through to 0.6. So our stock solution is 0.8, but we want to be making these solutions here. So basically, remember, we're talking about putting a bit of 0.8 solution in there and topping it up with water. A bit of 0.8 solution and topping it up with water and so on. But this question is actually asking us in a slightly different format from before. Remember before we've used V1 times C1 equals V2 times C2. Let's have a look at what this information, this question gives. It says complete the table below by giving all headings, units and the concentration of the sucrose solution produced. This question is asking us in a slightly different format than we've used before. Remember in the past we've used V1 times C1 equals V2 times C2. If you're not up to speed with that, watch my other videos. However, this one has given us slightly different information to work with. So it says complete the table below, giving all headings, units and the concentration of the glucose solution produced. I really dislike this table. I really dislike the layout of it. I find it quite confusing. So let's have a look at it with simple eyes. So in a serial dilution, we know we add a bit of the stock solution and a bit of water. Now they've told us here how much stock solution there is. So this one must be how much water we're going to add. So I would fill this in and I would say water and here's where I'm gonna put my units. It's gonna be the same units, cm cubed, because that's what we use there. I know chemists like to use decimeter cubed, you rock on, but for biology, if we're not doing chemistry, we're sticking with cm cubed. Over here, it asks for the concentration of glucose solution. Well, we know, because it gave us in our question, that it's moles per decimeter cubed. We know that it gave us it in the question. So we've got those two bits. We now just need to work out the final concentration of the glucose solution, which is different because in the past, we've worked with V1 times C1 equals V2 times C2. We've been looking for a volume. Now we're looking for a concentration. So again, normally in the past, we've been looking for how much of this to put in there, but we actually know our answer to that because it's given it to us here. That is 7.5. So let's just have a little think about this equation, which we know and love. What information from there have we already got and what is it that we're actually trying to find out? So just stop the video for a moment and have a think about that and see if you can plug in the numbers that we've got into that equation.
Okay, well, hopefully we're able to see that the numbers that we've got are our V1, which represents how much of that would go into there. We know our V1 concentration because it told us it was 0.8. And over in this part, we know that we're going to add 7.5 of the stock solution and 2.5. So this is the information that we've got. Where did I get that 10 from? Well, that is the volume of the second solution. Our second solution tells us it must be 10 centimetres cubed because we've got 7.5 and 2.5 cubic centimetres. So we know our V2 solution is 10. So when I rearrange that, obviously I'm going to do 7.5 times 0.8 divided by 10 to give me my C2. And if we check that back, we and if we check that back, we know it actually will work because one of the dilutions we were looking for was 0.6. It asked us in the beginning. It told us in the beginning we were making dilutions from 0.1 through to 0.6. So that is an expected answer. This is the dilution that we've just made with 7.5 mils of the stock solution and 2.5 mils of the water. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what you find easy. Let me know what you find difficult. Let me know what you need more of.